I really like your stickers. My stepbrother gave them to me. He's in the Air Force. That's so cool. <laughs> How dare you? A menace to you! Well, you're not to associate with him again. What do you mean? Why? I think you know what I mean. Armageddon Time stars Anne Hathaway and Jeremy Strong in James Gray's autobiographical piece, Coming of Age in Queens in the 1980s. But it's also about this Jewish family, and they don't seem to be able to cope very well with life in the new world that is to come. When I knew I was going to be working with James, um, knowing what a cinephile he was, James Gray, our director, knowing what a cinephile he was, I thought that I should maybe see if I could find any interviews that he'd given where he talked about film. And I saw this interview where he talked about Raging Bull. And he told a story about, you know, reading about Raging Bull and how Martin Scorsese said that he wanted to make a film about emotionally inarticulate people. And I think that your observation at, about our characters is spot on because these are people who don't possess the tools to deal with life. Uh, or rather, if they have the tools, they don't have a sophisticated use of them the way we might think of it nowadays. And that um, influences the type of people they are, the type of relationship they have, the type of parents they are. And this really is a home in which love and violence intersect. And it can go from goofy to scary in the blink of an eye. You play such insular characters. You need a pro sort of private space almost in which to work to create those characters. How do you tune out all of the other bigger things? I mean, you both are on social media all the time, these big shows and what have you. Don't you have to tune all of that out? Completely. Uh, I mean, I, I had about a month to prepare for this and, and that does involve creating a real sort of inviolable solitude, I think. I don't know, 90 whatever percent is done before you step onto a set. And then the rest, you sort of prepare the ground where you hope lightning will strike and you hope these electrical storms will come through you. But the work on character and the work in order to walk onto that set is all done. At the risk of contradicting you, I wouldn't describe either of us as on social media all the time. It is a very real part of our world and it is a very important part of our business that you be able to engage with in order to encourage people to go see your films. And so I think that it's actually about expanding your ability to connect with all of those things in an authentic way. And I just think it's about making yourself bigger, the bigger your life becomes. And what, I accept your correction. We, Absolutely. Ms. Thank Hathaway. you. It's always a pleasure. And Jeremy, thank you very much. I appreciate both of you going there. Thank you. Thank you. Flicks with Patrick Stoner explores the craft and culture of filmmaking that enhance our communities for television stations and websites around the country.